Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Kate. And we are Bougie's French Bullies. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. We're coming to you guys today with a little problem that we had a month. A month or so ago. A month or so ago. And it's all about our Frenchies eating poop. What do you think about that? I think it's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Let's talk about Hershey kisses for real, because you know how your Frenchie loves to kiss you. Oh yes, to come up the steps with a mouthful of poo is—it's wonderful first it's, thing in the morning. It's not great. So, <laughs> so what did we do? Well, we researched it. You know, we we did the the normal average things that people do is, you know, just try to find a solution to it. And from what we experienced and what we found was uh, canned pumpkin, 100% pure, right? Well, yeah, canned pumpkin worked. Uh, I mean, we did, like she said, the research. We looked around. We were really concerned because, you know, I did the research. And one concerning aspect we had was what diseases can they con get from it? What diseases are going to happen? So one thing I did research and find out that it's lucky, it's better, not great, it's not the best, and it's still not good, but if they're eating their own poop, it's way better than them eating Each other. Bougie's poop. <laughs> or Harley Quinn eating Bougie's poop. Or Bebe, this is Bebe, Bebe eating anybody else's poop. So as we said, we researched and we checked it out and we looked and... Um, bunch of uh, answers we got was go out in the yard and put hot sauce on it, right? <laughs> yeah, if I'm well, going to do that, why well, yeah. just clean it up? Yeah, let, yeah exactly. Why, why put hot sauce on it when, you know what, we can just clean it up. Yeah. And then what was the other one? Put what on the food? Oh, meat tenderizer. Oh, great. Yeah, meat tenderizer was, was a great idea, especially when it's very harmful for Frenchies. Now, not sure about other dogs, but... But the research that we've done and, and what we found is meat tenderizer is a no-go. Well, it tenderizes meat. Think about what it, it breaks down meat, you know, to make it more tender. So how about their little sensitive bellies? It, you know, it, a lot of the things that you, that you find, and, you know, I belong to a couple different French Bulldog groups, and, you know, you ask the questions, and, I, and, I, and this is where we see it constantly, you know, and it's not just French Bulldogs. It's a lot of dogs that... that that experience this issue and a lot of pet parents that do. And, you know, it, it's it's a constant qu a question among, you know, th these groups and, and just everybody in general. So, you know, it, it was one of those things where, you know, what's best and, you know, what what, what is non, non-toxic, what's not harmful. And from just in our experience, you know, wh when we added pumpkin to the dog's diet, it didn't just help with the poop eating, what would you, you know, it made them more regular. It Fiber. Yeah. But the thing that we did realize is they love the taste of pumpkin. It helps her digestive. It actually, little bougie here was a car sick girl. She liked to get car sick. And from our experience, we would feed her pumpkin prior in the morning with mm -hmm. her food before we'd go on a ride. Or, and bougie doesn't throw up anymore. Doesn't get car sick anymore. So that, that was another added benefit to adding the, the pumpkin. Yep. But the other thing is, what happens is when they digest the pumpkin, they love the taste of it, they love the smell of it, but when they digest the pumpkin, what happens is they no longer like the smell of the poop or the taste of the poop because of... The ingredients in the pumpkin. The ingredients in the pumpkin. So we wanted to bring yeah. you this little, little testimony to what we're experiencing and what we're finding out that's working with our little girls, because we have a little girl in heat, we have a little girl that's pregnant down on the floor bay, and we're just trying to do whatever we possibly can to promote great health in our little girls. Right, and, and there's so many people just like us that you, know, you have no idea where to turn. And you know, if, if we can help other people in our trials and tribulations and things that work for us, you know, I just feel like, you know, having this great community would, would be extremely beneficial to not only, you know, pet people, but breeders alike. So we decided that we're going to start doing some videos, short ones. We're going to try to keep them short. But we're not veterinarians. And, and, and we're not veterinarians. Let's get that right out. We're, we're not veterinarians. veterinarians. 
We are dog breeders. We love our Frenchies. We totally adore our girls. And we just want to put it out there and try to give you guys little bits of information that we've experienced, yep. that we know firsthand. Um, so if you guys have any questions or you know you need some answers to, to something that's happening with your French, you know, we're speaking Frenchies. You know, the French Bulldog breed. How can they get a hold of you, Kate? You can, uh, you can get, call me at 724-388-4345 or at bougiesfrenchbullies.com. Now, how do you spell that? It's B-O-U-J-I-E, bullies, B-U-L-L-I-E-S.com. Yeah, but it's bougiefrenchbullies.com. Yep. Yep. So it's B-O-U-J-I-E-F-R-E-N-C-H, bullies, B-U-L-L-I-E-S.com. Or you can use the same thing, but check around on her Instagram and and ask her some questions. Ask us some questions. Let, let's get our Frenchie family and our community together to help everyone and each everyone and all of us yeah. help. I know that's probably confu confusing. We'll put the links in the bio. Definitely, we'll put the links in the bio. But, happy Saturday. The girls said nice to be on camera. They've never been on a video camera, you YouTube. Weird, Say, have a great, great, have a great weekend. Bye-bye. See ya.